Ay, no, 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 Your first topic in the second manual is urinary system. Because this is the second topic. Okay, I divided posterior abdominal wall, uh, wall into one and two. So on Tuesday, holiday na naman kayo. Pero hindi kayo pwedeng sobrang mag-happy-happy kasi mag-aaral kayo, right? Yes. 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 And then Friday, you'll be happy We'll be having uh, review and posterior abdominal two, okay? Then sa theoretical, kasama yung two. But the practical is only up to this one. Kaya ganun kasi wala kayong pasok sa Tuesday. Wala kayong time para mag-review, para mag-dissect ng two, okay? So, now this one here, so what you study here in the posterior abdominal wall? You study the structures that are left there after removing the abdominal visceral organs like tinanggal yung liver, tinanggal yung stomach, intestines, small and large, tapos yung pancreas, yung spleen. Yung mga structures dito sa likod, hindi nyo kaagad makikita kasi they are behind peritoneum. They are all retroperitoneal organs. So you have to remove this peritoneum in order to to expose them, okay? So, in one, ang pag-aaralan natin, itong pulan na to, at saka the branches. What is that? Abdominal aorta. And the blue one, which is inferior vena cava. Okay? And so, we study the tributaries of inferior vena cava. Okay? And then, we study the nerves, autonomic nerves, sympathetic, parasympathetic, and the lymphatics. Okay? So, hanggang doon lang ang one. Okay, so, ano pa yun nandito sa, sa posterior abdominal wall, which are primarily, primarily retroperitoneal, na ibig sabihin, kahit na during the embryonic life, nasa likod sila ng peritoneum. Abdomayorna, kiwi ng kama, okay? Redis, what is that? Kidney. Tapos yung green, super renal. What is this? Unit there, they're all retroperitoneal. Okay, so we study now, okay, and have some clinical applications of all of these. Now you have here your abdominal aorta, which is a continuation of thoracic that you studied in the thorax, which at the level of T12, okay, thoracic becomes abdominal. So itong pula na to na abdominal aorta, ang tubo ay pababa. It's away from the heart. Begins from T12 and ends here sa level ng iacres, aliyan, L4. Okay? And there's a difference between the flow of blood in the arteries and the veins. Doon sa arteries, ang flow ng blood from big to smaller arteries. Tapos yung smaller arteries, sila yung branches ng bigger ones. And so if your abdominal aorta begins here and ends there, so ito yung dulo, You will call the smaller arteries here, sa dulo, the terminal branches. So if you're asked, what are the terminal branches of abdominal aorta? You say, right and left common iliac arteries. Together with an artery that you find here, just in front of your sacrum, okay? And this is middle or median sacral artery. So you, sila yung tatlong terminal branches. Okay. Kakaiba naman dito sa vein. The vein, the blood will be going back to the heart. Yung artery away from the heart. So if in the aorta, the blood is going down, dito naman, papakyan. And so this one begins here at a little, at a level lower than your, than your abdominal aorta. And it begins here at the level of L5. How, how does it begin? Diba dito sa aorta, 
and on Florida Black building from big to small, and you call the smaller arteries, the branches are the bigger one. Dito sa veins, baliktad. The flow of blood will be from smaller to big, and you call the smaller veins the tributaries of the big one, bigger veins, okay? So here, you have the two common iliac veins. Nandito sa umpisa ng inferior vena cava. And these join together to form inferior vena cava. So ang, ta ang tawag dito sa common area, veins na nasa umpisa, so, so umpisa sa beginning ng inferior. These are the tributaries of origin of the inferior vena cava. While common area are the terminal branches of abdominal aorta. Okay? Of course, you have also there your the middle sacral vein. Okay. Now, what happens now here is that comparing these two, doon sa cadaver nyo, may team ito. Mas malaki yung vein at saka mas manipis siya. Okay? And if there will be abnormal tumors there, the abdomen, mas malamang ma makompress ang inferior pinakama kaysa abdominal yorta. Okay? So, what are the clinical conditions that can affect this? Your, your topic today is more or less a review of what you had in the abdominal cavity, the blood vessels there, the arteries, the veins, the lymphatic cells. So you just have to review them, right? But we will, we will uh, re review them together. So here, ano ang pwedeng mangyari dito sa aorta? So if you have a prong section of the aorta, and you have here your tunica intima, the innermost, right? And then tunica media, and then tunica adventitia. Okay. So you have here your lumen. But sometimes you can have there some fat de deposit. It becomes thickened. Okay. So lumiliit yung ano, yung daanan ng dugo. Okay. Pag lumiliit yung daanan ng dugo, okay, there will be now, okay, comparatively, less blood flowing there, okay? So, depende kung ano ba, sobrang, sobrang uh, alaki yung, uh, 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 sobrang uh, um, thickening and narrowing, okay? You call the condition atherosclerosis. So, there's a narrowing of the arteries. So, ano kaya makikita nyo sa pasyente if you, if you have that? If you have athero, Sclerosis. So the blood here is going down, right? It's going down. Common iliac arteries now divides into internal, paputas internal carotid, and external, mm -hmm. external carotid. Internal iliac and. Okay, <laughs> Internal iliac. Okay, and this one is external iliac. Okay? And then this one here is your libra. Okay? Internal ilia and internal ilia. Internal ilia pagpunta sa pelvic cavity. External lang punta sa, sa thigh. And this one now becomes femoral. So nandito na tayo sa femoral. Okay? So you have here your lower extremities. Okay? And then you have here your femur. So you have femoral here. Na pagdating dito sa butas na, this is femoral. This is a Dr. Ayatus. Naging artery sa likod na na lead. It becomes papricha. This is papricha here now. Okay? And then, you have now here, this is the soul. Okay? And then, underneath your calf muscles, like a subclavius and so on, you'll be having here paprichus. And then, this one here, your papricial artery, at the lower word papricha becomes posterior tibia, and this one here is anterior tibia. Posterior tibia ay nasa ilalim ng mga calf muscles like this one is nasa tibius. Posterior tibia ay nasa ilalim ng anterior leg muscles. Okay. What I'm driving at here, pag kumonti yung dugo na bumuputa sa baba, what will you find in the patient? Okay. So like this one, lower extremities. The muscles here, kapag nagko-contract, mas malaki ang demand niya sa dugo oxygen. Okay? Pag siya ay nakarelax yung muscle, mas kokonte. So yung pasyente po kasi yun, doctor, why is it 
naglalakad lang po ng isang bloke. Ang sakit-sakit na dito nga nung ko. Ito ang uh, uh, lower stream discount. Eh, pero nung uh, namahinga naman ako, nawala siya. So what really happened then is, pag na, naglakad kayo, okay, you have contraction to the muscles, you need more oxygen. Okay? E eh, kaya lang, konti yung blood na dumadaan dyan. Yung red blood cells na nagdadala ng ano, di ba? Ng oxygen. So kung konti, So, nag-i-spasm yung muscle kasi kukunti ang oxygen na nakukuha. Tapos nung nag-rest siya, konti na lang requirement. So, okay lang kahit na kukunti. Right? So, you call that one intermittent one? Clodication. Na kapag ginagamit niyo yung muscle, sumasakit siya. Nag-i-spasm. Pero pag kayo ay namahinga, nawawala. So, o sulpot-sulpot, intermittent claudication, right? So, if the atherosclerosis, the narrowing is here, the abdomen orta, you know that the abdomen orta becomes internal ilia, and this one will be going go, going there to your your genitalia, right? And so, what will happen is, okay, there will be now, and of course, if you have here your, uh, your, your, uh, Abdomenorta. This will be now on the way to supply the genitals, right? And so what will happen is, dun sa lalaki for for erection, penile erection to for dapat mas malamig blood, okay? So pag kukonte ang pupunta na blood, what will happen is, what will happen is you'll be having impotence, okay? So yun makikita nyo kung nandito. Okay? So may the as, right? Of the abdomen aorta. But then if you have it here, it's a femoral artery, it will be just intermittent claudication. If this is just here, it's just uh, uh, intermittent claudication. Okay? Or it is also the same as when you have your, if you have here the heart, and this one is a left atrium, and this is left ventricle, and this is mitral. Tapos, nagkaroon ng pneumatic heart disease yung pasyente. Tapos, nasira yung mitral valve. This is mitral valve. Nagkaroon ng blood clot. Ang tawag doon, thrombus. Yun ang blood clot. Yung thrombus na yun, ma-dislodge. Pag na-dislodge na, pupunta sa left ventricle. At pupunta yan sa? Saan? Sa aorta. And so, pwede siyang bumara, mag-obstruct, kahit na yung branch na aorta. And it could be here, right? And you'll be having the same one you know, anywhere here. It could be, you, you can be having the same uh, signs and symptoms, okay? Like, what's that? Intermittent medication, okay? Kasi pag naglalakad, sumasakit. Pag namahinga, nawawala, okay? So that could be. And then, there is a case here. At the back, I can see you. Are you, are you with us? The two of you, the green the two. Okay, are you with us? Okay, I can see. Okay, you have here abdominal aorta, and there can be abnormal dilatation. And please take away those cell phones. Okay, pa kilo ng pagyan di ko na sosolis sa inyo. Ido do de ko sa simbahan niya. So here, you have here your abdominal aorta, you can have this one dilated. Okay? And this also affects some arteries, like those in the in the brain, right? The cerebral arteries there. Call this on your reason. And this is abdominal aortic aneurysm. And this is more common among the male. Okay? Uh, totally, and tapos nag-smoke, tapos kung nag-alcohol, okay? Kasi yung blood vessels na affect to have. And of course, if you have, if you have now here, okay, your abdominal and your SL, okay? Paano yung pag-alimbawa, uh, ini-examine yung pasyente, okay? Kasi yan, kapag may abdominal and your SL, dapat i-maintain nyo yung normal blood pressure kasi pag mataas ang blood pressure niyan, pwede siya pumutok, right? 
and your men are bleeding, and where is the bleeding? Just underneath the peritoneum, that's retroperitoneal bleeding, right? So, kailangan yung maintain nyo. Okay, so kailangan, kaya pag, pag ini-examine nyo, after may napasyete, yun, yung check nyo lang kayo, right? At tapos pag meron kayo na feel, nagpupulsate. Ang artery lang, ang artery lang, ang nagpupulsate, right? So, you have to think of, and it's a mass that pulsates, okay? It could be, abdominal aortic aneurysm. And if you have increased pressure, it can rupture, okay? And if you have here, the different layers there, this aneurysm you can, can have, can, you can cut it, okay? So if you have the lumen or you have the blood, okay, there could be, it could be dissected like that. There could be some part of tearing, okay? and the blood can, can go inside there. You call this dissecting aortic aneurysm, and this can rupture as well, okay? So, that's it. So, you, if ever there will be an obstruction here, if ever there will be an obstruction due to a embolus, because it means blood clot ng galing sa ibang parte. Most likely, ng galing siya sa left side na, Heart. Okay? Like my chop, that's the left ventricular pump, the sa aorta. Okay? And if you have abdominal aneurysm, you can see that it can compress on its adjacent organ. Uh, blood vessel, what is that? Inferior vena cava. At ang inferior vena cava, ang tagadala ng dugo na galing sa baba. So, kung nakokompress yan, ano kaya ang mangyayari? Ano makikita nyo sa pasyente? Yung dugo sa baba, from the paa, paa kaya at may hihihihapang bumalik sa heart. So, ano makikita nyo sa pasyente? You have pedal, hinihima, okay? Or, yung mga hemorrhoidal, rectal veins, okay? The, the, your uh, uh, rectal veins, uh, the middle, and the... Uh, your inferior will be on the way to go to, what is that? Inferior vena cava. So you can have hemorrhoid as well, okay? So that will be now your abdominal aortic aneurysm, okay? So ang ginagawa niya, ang kumisan, tinatagal yan, and then you have a graft, okay? So you can have, you can replace that with a graft. Okay, so here now, we are now to have the branches of your abdominal aorta and review them. Now, if you talk about the branches of the abdominal aorta, of course, the first one that you saw there will be the terminal branches, right? And the terminal branches are what again? Right and common, right and left common, yeah, arteries and middle central arteries. The other name is media, okay? But there will be other branches there. Kung magpupunta sa internal organs, you call them visceral branches. Visceral means internal organ, right? Like kung punta sa liver, kung punta sa stomach, sa intestines, okay? These are sa kidney, sa supralina, these are visceral. Pero yung pupunta sa wall, you call them Palaita. So, ano ba wall dito? Palaita is his wall. Like, so much is wall. Pupunta sa diaphragm. Okay? That's, that's a wall, right? And if ever, if you hear the word phrenic, you are referring to diaphragm. So, pupunta sa ilalim ng phrenic, you have inferior phrenic. Okay? Inferior phrenic. Okay? And papunta dito sa likod, dun sa mga vertebrae. Kayo ba sa likod, nakikinig pa kayo talaga? O hindi? Na yung mga nasa likod, one, two, three, sa likod. Kung hindi kayo nakikinig, just please leave the room, okay? Yung kayong tatlo, okay? Girl, girl, boy, okay? Pag makinig kayo, okay? So you have here, okay? Kasi nag-i-distract ako, makikita ko kayo, no? Ako ko na to. So you, here you have, you have here your, I forgot what I'm saying. What, what I'm saying. 
ano? Ah, if you're afraid, yung sinabi ko sa inyo. <laughs> so, you're, you're pupunta sa wall, diaphragm, whenever you hear the word phrenic, okay, that's diaphragm. Sa ilalim ng diaphragm, if you're phrenic, okay. So, let's go like that, right? So, like that. What's that? In theory, you're phrenic. Okay? Okay, that's parietal. Tapos yung pupunta dito sa wall, like the, the lumbar vertebrae, so kapos yung abdominal wall, right? Ano to? Lumbar, four players of them. Okay, alam ba nyo, sa, sa model nyo, may ganyan, na pag yung teachers nyo, wala nga mga mabigay, binibigay yan, okay? So yung mga yan, it's a lumbar arteries, right? What kind of uh, branches are they? Parietal. Ito sa mga borders, meron siya. Okay? Yan, ay nakikita nyo. Okay, so these are lumbar arteries. Okay. So these are the, what, what are these? Parietal branches. How about the visceral? The visceral, you have, you have here three unpaired visceral branches. Of course, you remember them, right? And the first one is cilia. And this one here is given off at the level of D12. Okay? And this one supplies a four bar. Another one here is given off at the level of L1. And this is superior mesentery. And this is supplying the four bar. And the third one is this, supplying your hind bar. And this is given off at the level of L3. This is inferior mesentery. This is L3. These are the unpaired visceral branches of abdominal aorta. So you see, yak will supply the forgot. So ano ba yung forgot? Sige ya? So this one supplies the forgot. Si yak supplies the forgot. And forgot will be esophagus or mak at saka kalahati na lutenum. Forgot. Yan. Si yak. Yan. Okay? What else? Then you have here forgot derivatives. Okay? Like for example, what is this? Pancreas. What is this? Liver. And then all bladder. And then you have here, okay, a non, non digestive organ that is your spleen. Okay? That is your, what's that? Forgot. Okay? Forgot. And then you have superior mesenteric artery and this is supplying the mid-gut. Where is the mid-gut? Where is the mid-gut? Where is the mid-gut? Sa likod. I want, I want to hear the people. What they do not know, they're calling them. Okay. <laughs> what are the parts of the mid-gut? At the back. Okay. What are the parts of the mid-gut? Yes. Hello. Hello. Parts of the mid-gut? Ayaw na tuloy nung ano, pati, pati microphone. Hindi ka nyo, please. Kasi hinirapan ako sa kapa. appendix, tapos what is this? Ascending. Ascending colon. At saka yung 
proximal two thirds of transverse colon. That is mega. Okay? That is supplied by mega. And then you have here your hindgut. Mula saan? These are one third of your transverse colon, descending colon. Okay? And the descending colon. Okay? Pagdating niya sa pelvic inlet, so you have here your pelvic bones, right? And this is pelvic inlet. So you have here your uh, your pelvic inlet. Yan. Okay? Tapos nandito yung descending colon, yan. Pagdating ng descending colon sa pelvic inlet, iba na pangalan niya. Naging S-shape na siya. Ano ito? Sigmoid. Hanggang saan? S3. Pagdating dyan, naging straight. Recto. And up to the pelvic floor. And then you have anal canal. So lahat na to, yung, yung blue, yellow dito, tsaka orange, this will be high gut. Okay? This will be the, this will be the high gut. Okay? And this will be supplied by what? Inferior mesenteric artery. Okay? Inferior mesenteric artery. High gut. Now, you should be also aware, if you have pain fibers coming from here, saan ba yung referred pain? Okay? The referred pain coming from the foregut, dito siya sa epigastric. So, halimbawa, may gastritis kayo, right? Pankreatitis, dyan, dyan magkakagawa ng pain. O halimbawa naman, kasi appendix is part of the midgut, initial stages dito, pero yung miracle. Pag naman your descending colon, pelvic colon, dito sa hypo, gastric. So these are the, the uh, referred areas. Okay? If you have pain from any part of the, of the gut. Okay? So it's important that you know the branches from each one. Okay? So you have to tell me now, ano-ano ang branches. And we are done with this. So, dapat alam nyo. Okay? So, let's start with the cilia. Okay? Nakalimutan na nyo? Parang kailan lang nyo, di ba? Okay. So, here, you have your soma. Ano yung tatagali natin dito ng omento? Yes, omento. Pag nandiyan, nandiyan yung abdomen yorta. And then, you have here your artery of the forga. What is that? Cilia. Okay, tapos ito yung pancreas, ito yung spleen, right? This is the pancreas at the back of the stomach. So what are the direct branches coming from your cilia? Okay, yung pupunta dito sa soma po, sa lesser carriage, yung pangalan nito, left gastric. Yung pupunta dito sa itaas, yung pinakamalaking branch niya, pupunta sa itaas ng pancreas, okay, sa likod na stomach. Pagpunta sa spleen. Ano kaya ito? Spleen. Spleen. Yeah. Nakapag nagkaroon ng ulcer sa likod ng stomach, Sa'yo? artery na may road. And then you have bleeding at the back of your stomach. In the lesser stuff, right? And then you have a branch here. Going to the liver. Common hepatic. E tapos dapat alam nyo kung ano ang branches niya. Spleen here. Okay, may branch na papunta dyan sa pondos, yung pondos is short gastric. May branch na papunta dito sa greater curvature, you call this one left gastrointestinal. It's inside the greater mento. And then, if you have first portion of the duodenum, and then ito duodenum na to, kalahake ay, ano nga? Ay forgot. Okay? And this one here will have a branch. Gastrointestinal and gastrointestinal will have branches. Okay? Right? Gastrointestinal and then superior pancreatic duodenal. And then common, hepat uh, common hepatic will have a branch here going to your lesser curvature and that's right gastric. Anastomosing with the left gastric there. And then your common hepatic as a hepatic artery branch. Hepatic artery proper. 
and it has a right hepatic artery and left hepatic artery. Okay. The question is, you have too many anastomosing vessels here, right? And if you have anastomosing vessels, okay, and if you have obstruction in any one of these, you have a sclerosis. Will you have Ano ba yung necrosis? What do you mean by necrosis? Death, right? What do you mean by ischemia? Lack of blood supply. A vascular, walang blood supply. Okay? Now, when will you have ischemic necrosis or vascular necrosis of the liver? Kapag ba merong... Okay? If you have an obstruction here in the... Uh, blue common hepatic artery before your gastrodudinat makakarating pa ba ang blood supply mula sa cilia kung may obstruction doon? Abawa, you have aterosclerosis doon? Yes. Okay. Anong gagamitin nyo? Either ano to? Left gastric nag-anastomosa, what is this? Right gastric. So, makakarating kayo sa, sa liver. So, kung uh, Walang necrosis yan, right? How about if you have your common hepatic, you obstruct that beyond the gastrodudinal. Okay? Ah, ito mo na una. It's not le just left gastric and right gastric. Pwede din to. What is this? Splenic and this is left. Gastrofibloid. Right gastrofibloid. Okay? And then, Kung dito yun, ah, gastrodudinal and like that. Okay? And then, if it's number two, common hepatic, it will be just, what is this? Left gastric and right gastric. But then, if you have obstruction in the, the, in the hepatic artery proper, then it will be death of the liver tissue. Diba? Okay? And I want you also to remember, class, that this cilia artery in the abdominal aorta is accompanied by not only lymph nodes, but this will be accompanied by post-ganglionic sympathetic ganglia. Okay? So, may mga lymph nodes yan. At tawag doon, cilia lymph nodes. Na yung left na galing sa foga, doon pupunta. So, ano ang clinical significance niyan? Kapag may cancer, anywhere there, for example, anywhere in your foga, ang unang-unang maapektuhan na left nodes ay cilia. So, doon kayo makakita kung sakali na ng metastatic cancer cells, right? Okay. And that is also where you find your postgallionic sympathetic ganglia. What's that? Sympathetic. Ano ibig sabihin ng ganglia? Groupings of neurons. So may mga kung nandyan ang cilia, <coughs> nandyan ang cilia artery, Celiac trunk, okay? Wala, parang wala naman. Wala, wala, wala. Wala, wala, wala. Pag nandiyan ang celiac trunk, may kasama siyang celiac lymph nodes at saka celiac sympathetic ganglia. And when you say sympathetic ganglia, it means groupings of neurons. Okay? Groupings of what? Neurons. Okay. Sabi, wala akong sounds. Okay. So, importante yung celiac lymph nodes at saka yung celiac ganglia. Okay? Because this will be, the ganglia will be sympathetic neurons. And the lymph nodes, siya ang pupunta kung ano man, infection or cancer na galing dito sa forgot, siya ang papunta. Siya yung unang pag-i-spread na ng cancer. Okay? So that will be the cilia. How about your superior mesenteric artery? <laughs> Supplying the midcut. 
Okay? So, pure mesenteric artery, nasaan yun? Where do you find the pure mesenteric artery glass? Where? This one here is your duodenum. One, two, three, four. And you have the pancreas. So, you can hear me now. Thank you, Cedric. You have here, you are two of them, you have four parts. And then you have jejunum and ileum. Ito yung jejunum and ileum na to, six, uh, six uh, feet long, six meters long, sorry, 20 feet long. Okay? So, this one is six meters long or 20 feet long. Tapos pag tinignan mo, ano siya, coil siya dito, jejunum and you, right? It's uh, 20 feet long. And then this one opens here into, what is this? Sicko, at the back of the appendix. And then this one here is what? A semicolon. Tapos nandito yung transverse. Kaya lang, itataas ko lang dito yung transverse colon. Hanggang proximal two-thirds ang yung um, mita. Okay? Now, if you superior mesenteric artery, nandito siya sa harapan lang. Anong harapan niya? third part there. That's superior mesentery artery. And then you have now here jejunum and ileum. Okay? Jejunum and ileum and pag ano ba? Pwede nyo hilahin ang jejunum and ileum? Pwede nyo hilahin? Are they mobile? Yes, because you have mesentery. And there are about a dozen of jejunal and ileal arteries there. Paano ninyo malalaman na jejunum yun at saka ilium? Okay? There are too many arcades here in the ilium. Dito, konti lang. Okay? Mas maraming arcades dito. Dito, konti lang sa jejunum. Okay? And the branches of superior mesenteric artery can be identified. Titignan nyo muna yung gut. Okay? So, identify nyo muna yung gut. And if ever you have now here your... Okay? Your sicum and appendage. Okay? And this one here is, what is this? Superior mesenteric artery. There is superior mesenteric. A branch going to the sicum and the ileum, you call this one here, your ilio, what is this? Ilio poly. Ilio poly. And ilio poly has an ascending branch or colic branch and a descending branch or ileal branch. Okay? What is this? Iliocolic. And here, okay, from iliocolic, aside from colic and ileal branch, na makikian is the most superior mesenteric, there will be other branches. And this one is important, especially when you do appendectomy, which is the bread and butter of the gerosurgeons, right? Bago nyo tanggalin yung appendix, kailangan ilagay nyo mo na yung blood vessels kung di pa patayin nyo yung pasyente because of bleeding. Okay? So, if you have now here your iliocolic, there's an atheocecal and posteocecal. So, you have atheocecal and then posteocecal. And posteocecal there, there's a branch that will be going here. And that will be appendicular. So, yun ang nilalagay. Okay? Of course, there will be variation. That's why the human body is such a miraculous uh, 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 structure, okay, a body. Kasi hindi ka mukha nung model na, na um, pinapakita lang sa inyo ang usual na makikita sa, sa popul population, right? But if you dissect, you will be seeing lack of variations, right? So usually, and your sickle, posterior sickle, they come from the main trunk of ileocolic. But posterior sickle can come also from ileal branch. Okay, the descending branch of ileocolic. And then you identify as, what's this? Ascending colon. 
And then if you see an artery going there, what is this artery there? Middle only. Okay. Middle only. Right only. Right only. This one here is what? Right only. Okay? Right only. This one is? Iliopoly. Tapos ito yung transverse colon, this is mobile also because you have the transverse meso colon. And so if you see the transverse muscle colon, and that will be your transverse colon, from your sphere mesoteric, you have now here the middle colon. What is that? Middle colon. That joins with, ano tong nandito? Right colon, ascending branch. Okay? This is middle colon. And then it's almost here, okay, together with the branches of your inferior mesenteric. At the margins there, you call this at the margin of the colon, you call this marginal artery of drama. And they become important in cases of obstruction. Ano ba? Ano na obstruct dito? Ano nagsusupply sa ascending colon? So ano ba yung magsusupply sa ascending? Yung galing dito sa ano to? Middle colic at saka? Illumolic. Kapag uh, na-obstructan nyo, ito, what is this? Trigolic. And this can be obstructed by a thrombus, for example. Right? Or there could be arteriosclerosis. There's narrowing there. Okay. Of oh, the main trunk. And then you have here your inferior mesenteric artery. And this one here supplies your, what is this? Hindgut that begins there, okay, that begins there at the distal one-third of your transverse colon, and this one here is what? Descending, okay? And of course, you have here your, what is this one here? This is your abdomen aorta, and then you have here your common ilia, right? You have here common ilia. And you have here your, what is that? Kidneys. Okay. And then coming from your abdominal aorta, you have here, what's this? Inferior mesenteric artery that supplies your hind gut. So this is your descending colon. How about ito, ano to? Sigmoid at the level of S3, it becomes, what is this? Red 2. Okay. So if you have inferior mesenteric here at the level of L, at, at the level of L3, given all, Tapos descending colon to, ito, left colic there. Ascending and, what's that? Left colic. And then in this one is sigmoid, the branches going there, two or three of them, will be now sigmoidal, like that. Sigmoidal arteries. Tapos yung inferior mesenteric artery naman, pag na, nandun na kayo sa pelvic inlet, okay, iba na yung pangalan niya. Kasi this will be now becoming your superior recta. What's this? Superior recta. Okay. Now what happens is, if you have here your left colic, left colic here, anastomosing with your middle colic, there. The junction is there near the splenic flexure. And the junction of this, okay, are really very small, anastomosis. So small, okay, that when you have low blood pressure, yung area na yan, sa splenic flexure, makukulangan ng blood supply, the ischemia. And that is prone to inflammation. You can have ischemic colitis. And that is found where? At the junction of this branch here of middle colic and this branch here of left colic. This part here of your transverse colon in the splenic flexure is the watershed. Ano ang blood supply niya? Galing sa middle at saka left colic. Tapos yung duktungan, napakaliit. Okay? And you can have ischemic one like this. You call this point here the critical point of Griffiths. Griffiths point. Okay? Meron din dito sa baba. So if you have, for example, here, the sigmoid. Okay? And then you have here your rectum. At the junction of the sigmoid and the rectum, yun ang sinasupplyan nitong, ano, ano, nitong 
yun yun ng sigmoidal at saka ng superiorectal. At yung yun yun nila, parang griffith's point, maliit din yung duktungan nila. Kaya yung junction ng sigmoid rectum, prone to ischemic colitis as well. And you call that point, sudex point. Okay. So, ano ba pwede mangyari sa superior mesenteric artery? This can be also affected by arteriosclerosis. It can narrow, okay, because of cholesterol block, okay? You can have narrowing. Or, yung nasa left side ng heart, namawa, <coughs> again, yung rheumatic heart disease, dito sa left atrium, sa pupunta, ay dito sa mitral valve, okay? Tapos, meron kang meron kang thrombus doon, punta sa left ventricle, and from here, saan lang punta? Aorta. Okay? So, any branch of the aorta, and it could be superior mesentery artery. So, pag meron dito thrombus at naapektuhan lahat yung, yung main trunk, you can affect all these segments there. And so, you can have death or tissue, you can have gangrene. At pag namatay itong mga tissues na to, Okay, paano na yung pagkain na nandun sa stomach at saka doon dalong sa kanadadaan? There will be intestinal obstruction, right? And so, in order to solve that problem, you, can, you should have surgical intervention so you can remove that, that dying uh, or the, the dead tissues there, gangrenous tissue, tapos anastomos, what is, whatever is left, okay? So that will be now a superior mesenteric one, if it's a blood clot, a thrombosis. O kung galing dito naman, it's an embolus. Or it could be just an arteriosclerosis. There's a narrowing, narrowing of the superior mesenteric artery. Okay? Hello. Okay. So that will be now your unpaired visceral branches. How about the paired visceral branches? What are the paired, what are the paired visceral branches? What are the visceral branches there? Ano yung mga visceral branches doon sa... Yung nakikita nyo muna dyan. Supervenal, right? Ang medical word for kidneys, ano? Renal. So, pag may, may organ sa itaas niya, ang pangalan niya? Supravenal, or it's adjacent, so what is that? Adrenal. Okay. So, here, ang suprarenal gland, ang suprarenal gland ay isang gland na nagsisikrit ng hormones. Okay? Both the adrenal cortex and adrenal medulla. But then this one is controlled by the brain, right? Like for example, adrenal cortex is controlled by anterior pituitary. Okay? And so, yung anterior pituitary, may hormones controlling the anterior cortex, for example, the adenocorticotropic hormone. It's a stimulating hormone. Paano ngayon makakarating yung hormone galing sa pituitary, papunta dyan? It will be through arteries. Supralinar arteries. And supralinar arteries, tatlo siya. Superior, middle, and inferior. Okay? Right? Tapos gagawin na nung ano, nung supralinal gland yung hormones niya. Lalabas na yun through veins. Okay? So you have three of these. Superior, middle, and inferior. The superior comes from a parietal branch of your abdomen. Ano nga ito? Anong branch to? Napunta sa ilalim ng diaphragm? Inferior phrenic. The superior suprarenal galing dyan, there. What is that? Superior suprarenal artery. Ang middle galing sa, so siyempre dalawa, isa sa kaliwa, isa sa kanan. Pair to, okay? Ito naman, ano to? Middle. What is this? Middle. So dalawa din siya. Middle suprarenal. Galing sa ang kaya. Abdominal. Ayorta. Okay? Anong man, anong man tawag dito sa mga 
arteries na to, napapunta sa kidneys. Ano tawag doon sa malaking artery na yan? Ano tawag? Renal, left renal, at saka ano to? Right renal. Okay? So, ito yung superior, ito yung middle suprarenal, ito ngayon yung inferior suprarenal na galing saan? Renal. Okay? Inferior suprarenal galing saan? Renal. Again, superior saan galing? Ang superior galing saan? Inferior. Inferior. Ang middle saan galing? My class, this is just a review. So you should have the notes already. I, I, I cannot understand why you should be taking notes here because this is just a, a uh, review, right? This one here, what's that? Middle. And this is coming from? Nominal. And this is? Inferior. And that's coming from? Renal artery. Okay, so clear siya. So, ay kaya ang pinakamalakas ang pressure, pinakamalakas ang daloy ng dugo. Middle. Middle. Kasi galing siya sa napakalaking abdominal, ayaw na. Okay? Tapos ang ginawa ni suprarenal, gumawa na siya sa salili ng hormones. And so, this will be now going out to the different parts of the body. Kung tatlo yung papuntang arteries sa suprarenal, isa lang ang vein na lalabas sa kanya. Okay? And the rule is, the vein will go to the nearest, bigger vein. Okay? This one here is your right suprarenal vein. And this one here is your left suprarenal vein. Okay? So, saan nagpunta yung left suprarenal vein? Saan nagpunta? Saan yung anong renal vein? Sa kaliwa, sa kanan? Left. And the right part will go where? Inferior. So if I say the following or tributaries of inferior vena cava, I say common iliac veins, tributary ba siya? Yes. Renal vein, left at saka right renal vein, tributary ba yan? Yes. How about right and left suprarenal vein? Is that correct? No, it's only one. The right, that is a tributary of inferior, not the left. Okay? And then you have here your renal. After that, you'll be having your gonada. See that there? What is this? Gonada. And the gonada will be going to sa lalaki, saan siya pupunta? Sa testis. Okay, sa babae, saan ang punta? Ovary. These are the gonada. Yeah. Okay? This will go to the testis or to the ovary. Okay. So this will be now your branches of your abdominal aorta. You just have to review, right? And then you have it here in Akaba. Saan siya nagsimula ulit? Anong level? L5. Umakyat siya, papunta sa right atrium at the level of what? D8. D8. Okay? Ang dugo, papa, akyat. So, ano ang tributaries of origin niya? Ano yung mga tributaries doon sa pag-umpisa niya? Right and left, common, yeah. And then, the middle, what? Sacral veins. Okay? So, you have the right and left common iliac veins. They join together to form inferior vena haba. Okay? So, ano ba pwedeng pwedeng na uh, maging clinical condition affecting your inferior vena haba? Natatandaan ba niyo yung yung mga blood vessels dito sa paa? Okay? Ano nga ulit yung blood vessel na to? Ano to? Timra, papricho anterior, and ano yung nasa likod? Ano yung nasa likod dito? This will be papricho, okay? Tapos, eh, sa ilalim yung gasotibius, papricho becomes what's this? Posterior tibia. So these are underneath what? Thumb. These are underneath the thumb muscles, right? 
And these are accompanied by veins. In the veins here, these are posterior tibial veins. These are, ito, ito harap, mga kukuy to, okay? You have anterior tibial veins, popliteal vein, and what is this? Femoral vein. Femoral vein, naging, ano to? External muna, external ilia, tapos naging? Common ilia. Tapos yung dalawang common ilia, pilaps one? Inferior vena cava. Saan siya pupunta? Saan pupunta yan? Sa right atrium. Okay? This is inferior vena cava. Okay. What happens when, okay, you have, for example, uh, you are there, you are 200 pounds, for example, okay? Tapos, nandun kayo sa economy class. Tapos, eh, medyo matanda-tanda na kayo. Ang dami yung garing positives, right? Tapos, hindi kayo gumagalaw. For the blood here, in the anterior tibial veins and posterior tibial veins to go up, back to the heart, kailangan ito, itong posterior, mamimilk yung akyat when you do, when you not flex. Ito naman, when you do si flex. So, if you don't move your feet, the blood here will stagnate. And that is prone to blood clot formation, lalo na kung may familiar tendency. So, pag may blood clot dito, bawa nandyan, nasa ilating ng muscle siya, you call that deep venous thrombosis. And this can dislodge, and it becomes an embolus. At pumamasyal na siya. Papunta siya na saan? Ano ito? Okay? Papitial vein. Tapos, ano vein? Femoral vein. Pagkatapos ng femoral, ano na? Serenia. Naging? Pumagia. Yung vein ng kaba. Tapos, ano na? Right atrium. Pagkatapos ng right atrium? Right ventricle. Pagkatapos ng right ventricle, what do you have? Pulmonary trunk, pulmonary. And this can? This can? Lodge. Can obstruct there. And you have you can have sudden death. That is a pulmonary thrombo and lymphodesic. Eh, paano kung dito nag-obstruct? Okay? Ibig sabihin, kung konti yung dugo na aakyat dito sa pabalik sa heart. Okay? Pag kung konti yung dugo na babalik sa heart, Okay? Pagkukunti dugo, babalik sa heart. Siyempre, understandable. Pagkukunti yung dugo na lalabas dyan sa aorta. Right? At pagkukunti ang cardiac output, bababa ang blood pressure nyo. Right? So if you have a, uh, a person with low blood pressure, bumababa na ba? Ang gawin nyo? Anong ragawin nyo? Itataas nyo yung paa niya. Right? Elevate those speed. Why? Because you need the blood where? Sa inferior vena cava na bumalik saan? Doon sa heart, right? Okay. So, pag may obstruct nun doon, nahihirapan yung dugo na bumalik. So, anong makikita sa pasyente? Kukunti na yung papasok sa heart. Mas kukunti. Pag mas kukunti, ano mayayari doon sa lalabas? Siyempre, kukunti din. Right? Sana naman magagaling yung nilalabas niya kung konti ang pumasok, okay? So you have, you have, you have a patient who is hypotensive. So kung konti, uh, kung konti lang ang cardiac output. Ito kung per se, kasi konti yung madali, ang nagawin naman ni heart, magpukotak siya ng madalas para mas maraming dugo. The, the patient will become tachycardic, right? Okay? So you'll be having here, what is this? your uh, pag may obstruction. Pag may obstruction din dyan, ano mayyari? Yung doon po sa baba, hindi makabalik. Ano mayyari doon sa sa, sa baha? Pedal edema. Okay? You have pedal edema. Okay? Are you following? Okay. And if you have, for example, here, you have your pelvic cavity, tapos nandito, nandito yung uterus. Tapos yung babae, pregnant. Tapos lumalaki na yung fetus. Pag lumaki yung fetus, pwede niya daganan niya. Okay? Pag dinaganan niya yan, 
yung pregnant na babae, ano nakikita niyo sa kanya? And all of this can be temporary, okay? Dahil lang doon sa may dumadagal na fetus noon. Anong mangyari sa pa uli? Pinitalilima. Tapos yung mga rectal hemorrhoidal veins, tsaan din papunta. So anong mayayari? Magkakaroon din siya ng hemorrhoid. Okay? Temporary hemorrhoid. Okay? Are you following? Okay. At tapos, pag, mayro, pag may mga tumor, tumor, new growth dito, ang pwede talagang daganan una is what? Inferior because this is thin wall compared with your abdominal aorta. Okay? So what are the other uh, tributaries here? You have visceral tributaries. And here, at the end, you have here visceral tributaries. And this is coming from the, from the liver. So what do you call them? Hepatic veins. Okay? So you have now here the liver. Okay? And then you have here your pancreas. Okay? And then you have chechidum and ilium. Now, if you have your liver, yun dugo na papunta sa kanya, yun yung blood supply. Yun dugo na papalabas sa kanya, yun ang venous drainage. And usually, in most organs in the body, ang blood supply artery, kung kayo magsusupply sa kidney, renal artery, yung galing na dugo sa kidney, yung magdidrain sa kidney, venous drainage ng renal vein. So usually, papunta sa organ, supply, artery. Yung papalabas sa organ usually is a vein. But the liver is different. Blood supply is both an artery and a vein. Okay? So if you have here your cilia, cilia, you have a branch. Hepatic artery. And hepatic artery carries what? Oxygen. So blood supply yan, right? Tapos, hindi lang yan ang 